Hey guys, if you are a student like me, you probably don't get enough sleep most of the time, and even on the occasion that you do have enough free time to sleep kind of a lot, you still don't quite feel rested. If you also feel tired all the time, here are some tips that I've researched on the internet and that I've learned from my psychology class about how to get better sleep. Here's a bit about the biopsychology of sleep so that you can understand more about the different tips that I'll give later on in the video. First of all, sleep is a time when your brain essentially shuts down its functions in relation to the outside world and instead focuses on cleaning itself up, so consolidating and processing memories from the previous day and just cleaning itself out. The cycle of sleep and waking up is regulated by the circadian rhythm, which is controlled by a part of the hindbrain. And what the circadian rhythm is, is basically an internal timer that will tell you when to wake up and when your brain needs to start producing melatonin, the hormone that signals to you to go to sleep. One of the best things you can do to keep your circadian rhythm functioning normally and make it easy for you to wake up at a normal time without an alarm and fall asleep when you need to is to keep a consistent sleeping schedule. This can be difficult if your workload tends to vary a lot day to day or if you tend to sleep in on the weekends when you don't have school. Having an irregular sleep pattern will mess up your circadian rhythm, so I recommend waking up and sleeping at pretty similar times every day, even the weekends. I know it's pretty hard to do, but you got this. Similarly, make sure you set up a consistent pre-bedtime routine. This will help you actually get to sleep at the consistent time that you decide to fall asleep at instead of lying in your bed wide awake for a couple hours before falling asleep since your body will begin to associate doing these particular actions with falling asleep right after. Another thing you can do to condition yourself to fall asleep is to only use your bed for sleeping. Don't read or watch YouTube or anything like that. I know I'm guilty of these things, but this is a good tip. You should do as I say, not as I do. The reason for this is just like the pre-bedtime routine, your body will begin to form an association between this location, your bed, with falling asleep. Another tip to help you fall asleep more easily is to make sure to expose yourself to sunlight every day. You could go outside, it's a pretty good option. If you live somewhere with pretty extreme climates or just can't go outside, instead you can open up your blinds or curtains to let in the natural light through your windows. The reason this is important is it helps regulate your circadian rhythm, since that is largely based on the cycles of sunrise, sunset, daylight, nighttime, and without exposure to daylight, your body gets a little confused about what time you have to be awake and what time you have to be asleep. Another great thing to do that can also help you go outside is to exercise regularly. Obviously, one facet is when you're tired, you want to go to sleep, so it'll help you fall asleep and stay asleep. However, don't exercise too close to your bedtime. It's generally recommended to stop exercising within two to three hours of when you're going to sleep because exercise does raise your body temperature and in increase certain hormone levels, which will make it harder for you to fall asleep. Be sure to avoid caffeine too late in the day as well. It can last in your system for six to eight hours in fact, so the latest you should be drinking coffee or tea with caffeine in it is in the afternoon around 3 or 4 p.m. Another one of the greatest enemies to falling asleep and staying asleep is light pollution. It's most recommended that you avoid screens for as long as possible before you go to sleep. Generally, within half an hour or an hour before, you should turn off all of those electronics. However, this can be pretty difficult if you are working on assignments late into the night. So one thing you can do to help out your circadian rhythm is to block out blue light. Blue light in particular is a problem because that's the color associated with sunlight which tricks your body into thinking that, hey, it's daytime, so you should be awake. A lot of devices will have an automatic blocking blue light mode that will automatically shift itself after sunset. For example, the iPhone has this option. You could also install the app Flux or F.Lux. Besides looking at light, just reduce the amount of light in your room in general. It goes without saying that, of course, your lights should be turned off, and also close your curtains, close your door, etc. If you have really flimsy curtains that don't do much for blocking out light from the outside, 
maybe fix that problem. There are also often a lot of little tiny extra lights that are always on for any appliances or electronics in your room, so you can use some tape to cover those up. If you're living with a roommate though and you can't always turn off the light or they'll have their lamp on to continue working, you can wear a sleeping mask to just block out light from your field of vision without having to inconvenience anyone who's living with you. Another pretty big issue with not being able to stay asleep is feeling stressed out or just constantly having thoughts racing around in your head. So make sure you take some time to de-stress before you go to sleep. I definitely recommend including some sort of relaxing activity in your pre-bedtime routine. One thing I find really helpful is journaling my thoughts out for the day. That way if I have any worries or planning or just anything else that's going on in my head, I can just dump it all out on paper so that I don't have to keep thinking about those things instead of falling asleep. Also, I like to set up my to-do list and schedule for the next day. This way I'm not laying in bed stressing and trying to plan out my next day. But of course, feel free to do those other more pleasant, fun, cute self-care methods. Um, you could read a book, you can take a bath, you can light some candles, just whatever works for you to help you relax. And lastly, make sure you are comfortable. You spend about a third of your life sleeping, so you might as well invest in nice things related to your sleeping. Invest in a good bed frame, a good mattress, nice pillows, nice sheets, just shell out them big bucks if you have them because you're going to be using these for a lot of your life so you might as well be comfortable. Unrelated to these items, make sure your room is set at a comfortable temperature, usually just a little cooler than you normally like your daytime temperature. This tends to be around 70 degrees or a little bit under for most people. And if the environment around you is way too loud, if you have roommates or dorm mates who are being very noisy, get some earplugs and just pretend they're not there. I hope you found this video helpful and if you have other tips that you'd like to share be sure to leave them in the comments. I upload new videos every Monday and my Instagram is at studyquill. See you next time!